Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Noboard application. So this video is going to be an updated of my previous video. I've had some comments asking for some specific customization. So I've decided to redo this tutorial from its entirety, showing you all the different steps, showing you how to change your custom fonts, showing you how to create a completely custom keyboard and editing some of the keyboards that they already have in the system. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do is download and install the Noboard application. This is 100% free and I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. All you need to do is come to the SourceForge link, come here, click the download button, and then your download for Noboard will begin in about five seconds after this countdown is done. Once your download is done, it will come in a .zip file. What we're gonna be doing is double clicking this in Windows, and we're simply gonna be dragging this file onto our desktop or anywhere you would like, and we're gonna be extracting out the contents of this folder. Just like that, we have our Noboard application right here. If we double click to open this file, we can see all the system files for our application. To actually open up the keyboard, we can simply double click the noboard.exe file right here. And just like that, our keyboard file opens up. So in this case, I have my Noboard application open and I have my folder here in the background. To actually open up your settings for Noboard, what we need to do is right click, click settings, and then we will get our Noboard settings right here. Now in this case, the first thing I'm gonna be showing you how to do is actually change the font that we have. So in this case, we have two options for our font. We have our large font and we have our small font. Our large font represents the number row one to zero right here and our QWERTY and the actual keyboard letters here in the center. And then the small font represents all the extra function keys. So you can see they're slightly smaller and slightly lighter on the keyboard. So if you want to match these, we can click both to 24, click close, and now you'll see they fully match. Even though these are slightly bigger, I am gonna be reverting it back to 20 as it looks a little bit better, but you do have the option to set these up exactly the same if you would like. The second thing we're gonna be talking about is the font width. So right now you can see that our main keys are much heavier, even though the font width is not actually set to anything heavier. So the font width will determine how thick or how light the font actually shows up. So if I set my font width to 20 for our main key, keys. You can see if I close it, they get a lot thicker and a lot more weighty. This is something you can experiment with depending on what you're trying to do. In this case, it's going to be leaving it in default for zero. However, you can experiment with this a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to be discussing is the actual fonts. And here you can set it to any font you have installed in your computer. Now, sadly, there is no search down and drop down for fonts. So you have to enter the font name manually. However, thankfully in Windows, we have a font location so we can actually see everything. Open up your Windows toolbar. We're going to be searching for fonts. You're going to find this font setting option right here. Simply click this open. And here we'll see all fonts currently installed in our computer. In this case, you can select any font. Just get the name of it right here. In this case, if you'd like to set it to Algerian, you can just type the name into the folder right here. And just like this, if I click close, the fonts for the main characters will change to the font that I have selected and all the other small font will stay the same because we haven't changed it. So here you can change it to any font type you would like. You just have to have it installed on your computer so you can find any fonts on a bunch of different websites. I'll be leaving some font websites in the description down below if you want to check those out and you can install them here and then change the font to whatever you would like. So we also have a couple more color and background settings that we can change here as well. The first thing we have right here is the background color. Now in this case, I'd recommend setting this to a solid color that you're not going to be using on your keyboard, your key presses or any sort of your outline color. So pick a color you will not be using anywhere else. And that's the color we're gonna be removing in OBS to keep a transparent background. The next thing we have is the loose key color, and this is going to determine the background color for the actual keys on our keyboard. In this case, it's set to a light gray. However, changing this here will allow you to change it to anything. If I was to set it to green, for example, you can see it's now a bright green keyboard and my key presses are still white, which we can change in a moment. We then have our font color, which is set to black by default. Of course, you can change it here as well. So for example, if you wanted to set it to orange, you could click OK and reset it to orange. We then have our pressed font color, which by default is also black. So you can see if I press it, it'll currently be black here as well. Of course, you can jump in here and change it. We then have our mouse speed color one and our mouse speed color two. These are both by default set to gray and white as well. However, you can come in here and feel free to change these also. We then have our outline color, which will determine the outline of our keys. And we have the pressed key outline color, which will determine the outside color of our pressed keys. Now by default, these are actually not enabled, the outline and the pressed outline. If you would like to enable these, you can simply enable the draw outline here and then the draw pressed outline. And you can see it's currently on my keyboard right now. So depending on the effect you're going for, you may want to keep this or you may want to remove it. So you have a lot of options with this keyboard. 
Now from this point, if you start to mess up or your colors get too much, what I'd recommend doing is just downloading the snowboard again, deleting your current installation and just downloading the folder again so you can return back to the original colors. That's what I'm going to be doing right now because this is not an attractive looking keyboard. However, you can come in here, experiment and see what you like. So maybe make a backup copy, see what colors you like, see what you like to experiment with and see what works best for you. And then we're going to be moving on to a couple of other things you can change and edit also. Now, another thing a lot of people were asking was referring to how you can actually customize the keyboard what you can do is right click click on settings and at the top right here we'll have a couple different keyboard options we have the select the keyboard category and select the keyboard layout so in this case the keyboard category is full we show the full f row we show the full keyboard and numpad and everything else what you can do is click this drop down open and if you set it to games we actually have some more options here for just game specific keyboards if we open this up for example we have the arrows keyboard if we close this you'll see we just show our num key arrows so for games where that's needed you can show that specifically or you have other ones for example for the fps game if we click this open we can click close you can see we have a smaller keyboard version here with just our space alt and other things and we also have our left mouse button right mouse button and scroll up and down however when i actually click my mouse these don't work at the moment to actually link your mouse to no board what you need to do is right click again come to settings and we need to click hook mouse and if we close this down and reopen it our mouse will now be picked up here so you just need to make sure you have the hook mouse button enabled and this will actually link your mouse into no board so everything is linked up here as well so you can actually add a simple mouse layout here as well now i had some other questions of people asking to create a fully customized layout and i'm going to be showing you a little bit how to do that now what i'm going to be doing is right clicking coming back to settings and i'm going to be coming back to our full keyboard and i'm going to be setting it to us intel which is the default closing this down and this is going to be our full keyboard layout so what we're going to be doing is editing and adjusting the file that actually creates this to remove some keys so you can create exactly what you need so what i'd recommend doing is finding the keyboard that you want to edit in this case, it's USINTL. What I'm going to be doing is making a copy of this file by just clicking Control C and Control V. And I'm going to be renaming this file to US underscore INTL underscore custom. And what this has done is just create an exact copy of this file that will be linked into our no board automatically. From this point, we're going to be right clicking and we're going to be editing this file in any sort of text editor you would like. In this case, I'm going to be using Notepad++ as it's 100% free and it works really well. I'll be leaving links in the description down below. Of course, you can use Notepad or anything else you would like. And here we can see exactly how this file is built up and you can see all the keys in our keyboard are represented with files and text right here so you can see for example the page up and page down button is represented by the page up and page down button right here so if i remove these two settings so just simply search for the key that you would like to remove remove them and then what you need to do is change the end defined keys to whatever number you updated it to so in this case i just removed two keys so instead of 104 it's 102 once you have this enabled simply click ctrl and s to save your file changes we're then going to be coming back to no board we're going to have to right click come to our settings and then we're going to select the keyboard layout that we just created which is the custom keyboard right here click this open click close and you'll see my two key files are actually removed here so just like that you can remove exactly the keys that you want and everything can be removed from your keyboard just like that and once you bring it into obs you'll remove the background so everything will disappear so you don't need to experiment with the size and direction here unless you actually really want to however you're completely customizable to remove the exact keys that you want and as long as you do everything correctly in here it should work no problem now once you're happy with everything you can come back over to obs open up any scene you would like to add this keyboard to we can simply come to the sources section right here click the plus button and then we can simply add a window capture click this open i'm going to be renaming this to no board click enter and then here you just have to select the window or the no board application which is instantly picked up here click ok and then our no board application is added i can scale this up a little bit then all you need to do is remove the background by adding a filter and a chroma key color to do this what we can do is click on our no board we're going to be right clicking and we're going to be coming to filters right here from this point we're going to be coming to the filter section on the left we're going to be clicking the plus option and we're going to be adding a chroma key if we click this open we'll have the option to name it if you would like in this case i'm going to be leaving it by default click ok and now we're going to be selecting our key type from green to blue don't worry if your keyboard disappears we just have to experiment with the settings and here we're just going to be turning down the similarity until all of the blue is removed from our keyboard there's a little bit more still here so i'm going to be adding a little bit more and then you're going to want to experiment with the smoothness and the color spill reduction until you remove all the blue from the keyboard something like this is fine and you can see my keyboard is still showing up here in obs and you can simply scale it and set it up to exactly how you need it and just like that you've set up a completely custom keyboard you can remove all of the different settings and keys if you would like and you can completely customize any file in the no board application to exactly how you need it anyway guys it's as easy as that to set up and customize no board on obs if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace